test now in 135 cities. But when I was marketing these tests to companies, they kept asking me what could be done about their poorer performing employees. And I said, well, I, I didn't know because it's not that easy to, if you have someone who's problematic, who's troubled, it's not that easy for a manager to figure out how to straighten them out. And um, they just don't have the time. They don't have the time, they don't have the manpower, and they don't have the training usually to do that. But I designed this set of programs called the self-authoring suite. And one of them, the future authoring program, helps people write out a plan for their life. So it helps them. It asks you some questions about six dimensions of your life, you know, your your health, mental and physical, your use of drugs and alcohol, your wishes three to five years down the road for intimate relationships, for family, for career, for education, and so on. It asks you, what could your life be like three to five years down the road if you set it up for you like you were someone you were taking care of? So it asks you those six questions. Then it asks you to write for 15 minutes about, about your vision for your life. You get to have what you want and what would be good for you. What would that be? And then it asks you to write for 15 minutes about what your life would be like three to five years down the road if you let your bad habits and your you know, idiocies and your foolishnesses and your weaknesses take the upper hand and auger you into the ground. Because everyone knows about that. And so it's like you get to design a little heaven to strive for and a little hell to avoid. And then you write for then you basically turn that into an implementable plan. That's the second part of the program. We've used that with about 5,000, 5 to 7,000 university students now, mostly in Europe at the Rotterdam School of Management. And we've raised their grade point average of their kids 25%, dropped their dropout rate the same. And it's had a walloping effect on men and on non-Western ethnic minorities. It's moved the non-Western ethnic minority student um, population performance at Rotterdam School of Management from 70% below the, the average to above the female Dutch uh, natives. And so the other, the reason I'm telling you this, apart from the fact that it's a very good program, and um, we, we did it at Mohawk College in Canada a year ago, and we dropped their dropout rate in the first semester 50%, and that especially, again, worked well for men, because men are at more risk of dropping out now, and, and, and especially for men who didn't have good grades in high school. So not only is there the possibility for the net to provide tremendous dissemination of intellectual material, but there's also the possibility for the net to provide dissemination of psychological interventions that have major impacts on people's mental health and productivity at almost at extraordinarily low cost. So that's really been fun too.